Hey guys, this is Dan Geiger from Subsystems, and in my desperate attempt continually for cool retro computing, I uh, came across this device. It's a device used, or used to be used in schools a lot. It's called the Smart Response XE. You can get them now pretty cheap online because nobody uses them anymore because we have cell phones. However, this particular device, which is super nice, keyboard, screen, uh, rugged case, takes uh, four AA, AAA batteries, um, has an Arduino processor in it. So um, in the back, when you remove this battery compartment, there's actually some holes over here that if you have the right pogo pins, you can actually program that processor and repurpose this device, uh, to which I have. Thanks in part to Larry Bank, who came up with the Smart Response XE library, which allows you to use the keyboard and the screen and um, thanks to the authors of Tiny Basic, which has been around forever. Uh, Gordon Brantley, Mike Field, Scott Lawrence, and uh, a couple other contributors to that. And that's long been used in our, with Arduinos and a PS2 keyboard and um, uh, an OLED display. You'll see a lot of versions of that online. However, when you port that to this device, you get yourself a cool little handheld basic computer. Uh, it runs Tiny Basic, which is a subset of basic. Um, but it's it's a pretty neat thing, and because it's in a nice case and a, a robust environment, it makes a really cool uh, device to get back into some basic programming. So looking at a couple functions, uh, just right off the bat, if I put in mem, this um, and instead of an enter key, they have a delete over here. It's the more natural position for enter. So Larry Bank in his um, library makes that the enter key, and I kind of agree with him. It feels really natural to hit that. My delete now is this um, navigation pad in the back, the left direction. This will actually delete something that you put in. But you notice when you run memory, it gives you the memory that's available both in RAM, which is 12K, 12 kilobytes of 8-bit data, um, and then the E squared prom that's available on the chip. Now, the smart response also comes with an external one meg uh, memory chip, which uh, it's a one megabit. So you can fit 10 complete 12K um, programs into that. And I actually wrote a subroutine to do that. It's M load and M save. So let's look. Right now, I've got something saved in uh, E prom. So if I say E load and hit return, it'll load this. And now if I list this program, I wrote list so that a long program will go by page and you can hit essentially any button to page through. And if you want to get to the end, you just hit the space bar and it'll do the rest of the list. Um, one of the other commands that you can do from the command prompt is battery. If you do BATT and you hit return, it'll give you the battery voltage in millivolts. So I got about 6.1 volts. I got a pretty fresh pack of batteries, so that's what you'd expect to see. So let's go run that program. It's a, a simple roulette program. It starts me out um, doing slots. I got 100 bucks. says enter bet. We'll enter 30 bucks. And for every match of the three, you get to double your bet. So you see spinning, 525. So I won. So I got 160 bucks. And then it's going to keep going. If you want to exit, you hit zero uh, as a bet and it'll kick you out. So if I want to save this now, all I have to do is say M save, and I can pick one from zero to nine, the memory location. So let's save it in slot five. So if I hit enter, it goes ahead and saves that. Now I'm going to type new, so I get a new program. If I type list, you'll see there's nothing there now because I typed new. Anybody familiar with basic kind of knows these commands. Now I can say M load. Oops, it said what? Because I didn't give it a memory slot. Uh, if I do M load and I go get five where I just stored that program and I now hit list, you'll see that program's there. So kind of like that early uh, Radio Shack 100 computer, the, the little laptop, it's got 10 storage locations that you can you know dump programs to. Um, so uh, check it out. Uh, I'm going to post all the code on Instructables and probably a couple other sites. Um, I have a couple of these that I can program if you don't have the ability to program it yourself. I'll probably sell those on Tindy. Um, but just a lot of fun to, to kick around with and to play with some old basic code. 
that you can get up and running pretty simply. The big downfall about this though is because it was made for a classroom, there's really no way, there's no serial interface, there's no way to get information into this. So you actually have to input all these basic programs. But really, if you're getting this and you're doing this, that's what you wanted to do anyway. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have fun with this project. Oh, when you want to turn it off, that's another command. Bye. B Y E and hit return and it knocks it off. When you want to turn it back on, use the power button and it comes right back on. All right. So thanks a lot and we'll see you later.